Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and to all my subscribers out there. Thanks for sticking with me This is a big deal today because we are on our fourth project and behind me. I got a Ram Promaster 2500 2020 and I am so excited about this because this is The newest project we've had on the channel. This is actually the nicest project we've had on the channel if you guys follow me you would know that I started out with an $800 motorcycle and I did a boat and another boat and now we're on this van and each project we do we take the money and we get something a little nicer but this project's really special because I'm not just doing this project to make money off of right now my wife and I were getting out of the military and I'm building a travel slash camper van and the tricky part is I got about four weeks to do it and it's gonna be really tough but I got all the parts here to do everything it's gonna be a lot of work on my end, so four weeks, I'm just gonna be hustling on this bad boy. My wife and I, we're gonna take like two to three months, we're just gonna travel the whole continental United States, and we're just gonna go celebrate our freedom from the military, and it's gonna be a great time. If you guys wanna know more details about that, or you wanna see more pictures or anything like that, you can follow me on Instagram at Slick Shifts. Uh, my wife will be posting on her YouTube channel as well. She does more vlog type content. Look at that bad boy. <laughs> that thing is cool. So yeah, I'm gonna be making a video series about this whole van build, so hopefully, um, if you are doing a van build, you guys can learn something. You can learn from my mistakes. You can follow along. If you are doing a van build, let me know in the comments below. If you got any advice for me, let me know. If you guys missed the last video, show the process of me picking up this van and I go into more detail about this van. I'm absolutely in love with this thing. It's, it's a 2500. It's fast. It's big. It's so cool, man. Just so cool. But yeah, if you want to know more about the van, check out my latest video about me going to Houston to pick it up. Oh, uh, that was, I went to Houston and back in two days from Florida and I'm kind of beat. So what are we going to be doing today? I know you guys are wondering, Mac, what is step one of this van build process? And step one for me, I'm going to be installing the solar panels on top. I'm going to be doing the RV fan first because I want to get all that stuff done, wired and sealed off before I start framing the inside of the van and start with all the insulation. It's kind of a tricky process. This is something I've never done before. Um, it's kind of like doing housework on a vehicle. So this is a new challenge for me, just like the boats were, but I think I'm gonna knock it out. I think it's gonna turn out really good. The problem is I got four weeks to do it. So as you guys can see, this thing is tall, so hopefully I don't fall off or anything. We'll see, but I'm gonna go ahead and get these solar panels up here mounted. And after that, let's wire them up and get the RV fan in. All right, guys, here's one of the 100 watt solar panels. Pretty good quality, actually. I'm pretty impressed with it for the price. The whole kit over here as well. So we got the controller, the power inverter, we got the Bluetooth module. This thing is gonna be set up really nice. Get it up on the van, so let's do it. guys I just got done mounting the solar panels and I'm so freaking tired of climbing up there and climbing back down um, as you can see here I'll show you guys real quick um, as you can see here I got the two wires for the solar panels coming down they are wired in parallel so I actually took my meter hooked them up and I'm actually getting 20 volts from them right now um, but all together it is 300 watts of energy so 
pretty good. Probably a little overkill for the size of this van, but I, I wanted to build this thing right, and if I wanted to add on, then I wouldn't have any problem doing that if I wanted to put a microwave in or something like that. Um, but yeah, it went pretty good. The solar panels are pretty easy to install, not hard at all. Um, I am gonna caulk around the screws and the bolts, that way we have that extra layer of protection in case moisture gets in there. Now that the solar panels are done, the next thing I have to do is I have to install the RV fan, and this I'm kind of worried about. I gotta cut a hole in the roof of this 2020 Promaster, and there's just something about cutting a big hole in something that's brand new, and you paid a lot of money for it that doesn't sit right with me, but it's a rush and we gotta do it, so let's do it, yeah! This is the Max fan built by Max Air. It's got a remote control to go with it. It raises up, it's got louvers in the back. It's got a 10 speed fan on it. It's also got controls on here as well in case you lose the remote. Um, but yeah, so it opens this way and you can get more airflow. So it's gonna go pretty good. We'll see how it does. So this right here, this is the piece we need to cut the hole in the roof for. And this is what's gonna slide in to hold the roof. We're gonna slide the van on top of this, mount it in correctly. And then under that, and then this is gonna be the part that's inside the van, right? So, per the instructions, you can take it and you can cut it. So, this is actually gonna be pretty simple. Um, this is actually going quite well. I'm not working on a piece of crap boat or an old motorcycle, so <laughs> it's kind of kind of a different project to me. So, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead, take these measurements, cut the hole in the roof, and we're gonna install it. So let's do it. Yeah. So I took my measurements on the inside, and I got this positioned correctly. The only weird thing is how these ProMasters are, the roof is ribbed like this, which is helpful on one hand because it helps you line things up. However, when you go to seal stuff on top, when you have these ridges, you're not getting a flat mating surface. So we're gonna need to put a lot of caulk. Once we cut this hole, we're gonna need to put a lot of caulk in these recessed uh, ribs right here. But enough talking, let's start cutting. guys it is august 18th and yesterday was my first day of work on the van and it went really good mm -hmm. 